2 p.m. case, Stephen C. Blatterman, Pane Evino Incorporated, trading as Anche. Four way stop high street, class B7, beer, wine, and liquor license. Application transfer ownership of location of a class B beer, wine, and liquor license from secured creditor at 200 West Pratt Street. Application includes a request to change the license to a class BD7 beer, wine, and liquor license. Everybody testifying, please step forward and raise your right hand. All right, good afternoon, Mr. Maslin. Mr. Blatterman, he's uh, here uh, asking for the uh, approval of the board to transfer a uh, uh, BD7 license. Actually, it's a Class B that would be converted to the BD7. It's allowed under the law uh, into uh, his location on uh, High Street. Uh, Mr. Blatterman is a fourth-generation um, Italian family, been in Little Italy um, that long. Uh, his sister owns and operates Gia's Restaurant, a very fine, attractive um, place that's the, on the gateway to Little Italy. And uh, her brother is going to, proposing to operate a small, uh, primarily it's a wine bar, adjacent to that restaurant. The family has connections in Sicily, and they are going to be uh, working with vineyards in Sicily to um, bring over to this country uh, the many Sicilian wines and other Italian wines from that region and promote them uh, at this uh, location. Uh, my clients went out and met with uh, the Little Italy Community Organization I have a letter of support from uh, that organization. We'll take that at this time. I don't seem to see that in the file. Uh, read it into the record. Um, it says that it's transfer of the beer, wine, and liquor, seven-day liquor license, Stephen, L. Stephen Blatterman Sr., Corway, South High Street, Honorable Liquor Board members. Please be advised that the Little Lily Community uh, Organization held a public meeting on January 2nd, 2013, and that this transfer of application was on the agenda. One of the agenda items, he attached meeting notice after discussion with the general membership, 28 attendees signed, and she had attached it was mentioned and voted upon to support the transfer for a beer wine seven day license to this location. See minutes attached. This community is familiar with the family as well as the building that will house this license. The corner of High Street and Eastern Avenue has become a very welcome, beautiful interest to Little Italy. We are confident that Mr. Blatterman will follow suit and create an attractive amenity to gateway of our community. The vote was unanimous to support this endeavor. We are very pleased that this building, which has been vacant and an eyesore in the community, would now be renovated and become an asset to the community. If there's any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, signs Kevin. Said Timo Smith, Vice President, we'd offer that uh, letter to the board. Have you had a chance to see this, Mr. DeChica? No, and I, you know, I understood what you said. Okay. Uh, additionally, uh, client uh, has a letter from the Little Lily Business Association um, in support of uh, this endeavor. Um, it says, we've met with the applicant. We are satisfied that this transfer of license will be an asset to the Little Italy business community and the community in general. This license will be used in a building which is used as a business printing company for many years prior to its vacancy some five years ago. We always welcome turning vacant properties into viable entities. The owners have already made great improvements to the facade. We anticipate a beautiful finished product. We are also excited about the prospect of being fine imported wines from Sicily and the owner's own family vineyards. We support this endeavor and urge the Sonner Board to allow this transfer. It is not often that local businesses are owned and operated by residents with four generation family members still living and working in neighborhoods. We thank you for the hard work uh, for Little Italy and hope to have the same relationship with your offices as we had for the last 15 years. If you have any questions, please not hesitate to contact me. That's signed by Lou Mozilli, president of Liba. Mr. Maslin, how many letters do you plan to read into the record? That's the last one I'm reading into the record. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's uh, the second exhibit. It's received. First exhibit is the 
letter from Little Italy Community Organization received. I have a petition in support of this transfer signed by 134 um, individuals, 115 of which are property owners. Hundred and fifteen of which are property <coughs> owners. Um, immediately adjacent to uh, this particular uh, property. Receive a uh, packet of petitions in support of a transfer. Uh, yeah. Further, our client did meet with the Little Lily Property Owners Association. We have that letter. Did he did he sign an MOU or not? They, they, they signed an MOU. There, there's some concern about some verbiage in it. The MOU that they signed, I, I will offer uh, at this time, it's, it's slightly uh, um, different. One of the things that the, um, that the community wanted to sign was they were not asking for live entertainment. I told the community members that we're not seeking live entertainment. But they wanted to put that in an MOU that said that we're not seeking live entertainment at this time. My clients don't want to say that because maybe in the future they will, but they're not seeking it at this time. The other point was they said that they wanted to say that they would not um, uh, have outdoor table service. Once again, we're not seeking outdoor table service. Um, the place is a very small facade, and it's doubtful that they would ever seek outdoor table service but they're not seeking it in the application. So I don't think that's a necessity. Um, my client did sign an, an, an MOU, which states that it's anticipated that normal operating hours will be 11.30 to 12 midnight, seven days a week, but the operation is not restricted to those hours. 408 South High Street shall operate in accordance with applicable zoning and liquor laws. Um, so that- Who did they sign that MOU with? That was with the little itty, little, Italy Property Owners Association. Can I see that document? Because what we have here is a, an unsigned memorandum of understanding sent to us by Little Italy Property Owners Association. That's true, but that, you see that one contains those two other references, one to the live entertainment, and it, can it, are you going to present this to us? We don't have a copy of what you're no, holding here. Is understand. it? All right. That was, uh, I believe that was transmitted via UPS to the uh, to the uh, association. But well, once again, you have three um, conflicting associations there. Well, uh, what, I, what I don't understand here is, is that this MOU has not been signed by the Little Italy Property Owners Association. And attached to in our file, which we're gonna make agencies one is a draft of an MOU and the meeting minutes of January 15th of this year of that association uh, in which it says that applicant will sign an MOU before the liquor board hearing. So how are we to know that the MOU that you signed or that Mr. Blatterman signed on January 22nd that you've just handed me how do we know that these terms are okay with President Stakura of the Little Italy Property Owners Association? How, how do we know that he's going to sign this? What he, what he wanted was the verbiage that's in his that said they were not seeking live entertainment at this time. We are not. I understand that, but, but there are four points, and he, he, I... Where did you get this document? Let me ask you this. I, I drafted, I redrafted. You redrafted it. So is it fair to say that Mr. Stakura hasn't seen this document yet? No, it's my understanding that was delivered to him. All right, so you don't have a signed copy here. He's not here today, right? No. Okay. All right, we're gonna make your... He's also not here in opposition. I don't mm -hmm. think their organization is in opposition. And they have never expressed any um, opposition to this license. Yeah, in fact, it said it was a vote of 29 to 1, but a motion was made to recommend approval subject to the normal due diligence of the Liquor Board and a memor of memorandum of understanding signed by the applicant and LIPOA. And it was carried by a vote of 29 to 1. But 
just like in our last case, I, was the 21 to 9 to 1 vote based on you signing, them signing the, the MOU that was submitted to the board by the Property Owners Association, or was it to sign? Another MOU, or an amended MOU. Once again, there are three organizations, once again. I understand, but we're and only it's the dealing, same thing as in the last right, case. Forget that. We're only dealing with the MOU with the Little Italy Property Owners Association right now. I mean, that's the one that well, made it to our file from an association. I understand. And, and as, as the board knows, MOUs are not a legal requirement. Oh, thank you. And, and, and all right. So all that having been said, you're the one who just presented me with an MOU, what appears to be an MOU, signed by your client. That's what he has agreed to do. Right. And in that same vein, you're saying that Little Italy Property Owners Association supported the request, to which I mention, and what your own MOU says, that with an MOU... Mr. Chairman, here are the meeting minutes from the... Right. Which enumerates... Agencies one we're looking at is the meeting minutes, and it simply says an applicant will sign an MOU before the liquor board hearing. Now, our due diligence requires us to ask you, or for us to ponder whether or not he meant, the, 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 the person who took the minutes meant the MOU that is attached to the front of those meeting minutes. There was, there, I had ex discussions with him I told him that my client had some problems with his verbiage that he put in there. And since we're not seeking uh, live entertainment, there's no reason to put in there that we're not seeking live entertainment at this time. Also, we're not seeking outdoor table service, and there's no reason to put in that at this time. I Hold on one sec. Real, let me just finish this thought. And if, and if the president of Little Italy Property Owners Association signature had been on this document, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. You keep talking about why you took the two things out. I understand why you did it, but what we don't have is an executed, a fully executed MOU. That's, that's my, my only point. We can move on from that, from that for now and move on to other evidence. But <coughs> well, we can't move on because I still have a question about it. You had the meeting that documented that, that the MOU is signed then they would agree. It seems to me that in that same meeting that someone had stated that I object to signing that MOU in the form that it's in, that would have also been part of that, of the minutes, I'm mm -hmm. assuming. Mm -hmm. Now, let, so let me ask you a direct question. Mm -hmm. At the meeting, did you state in the meeting that you disagreed with the MOU that they were presenting to you. The problem that we had, Mr. Blatterman was not available to attend that meeting. I attended in his behalf. Did, what comments did you say when they made that statement to you? I acknowledged and agreed that we would not seek live entertainment at this time, and we acknowledged we would not seek um, uh, live inter uh, outdoor table service. So you didn't answer my question. Did you tell them that you would not sign that MOU? No, I told them we, we would sign an MOU. My client objected to that because in his No, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen the MOU. They they drafted and submitted it. After you I mean, after, the after the meeting. It had come and they didn't have a draft of anything to review at that meeting. We're not in the habit of just signing blankly, signing documents. You need to review things and make sure that they accurately reflect the understanding of all parties. All right. Any other evidence to submit to us? Um, documentary evidence first. No, but Mr. Bladerman, it's your understanding that you're not seeking live entertainment at this time. Is at that this time. And you're not seeking outdoor table service at this time. Not at this time, no. And there, those are the two things that are that are missing. All right. Uh, from. Yeah, from at this time. Uh, documented, Mr. Blatterman, you are a, um, you believe you're a fit and proper person to have this license? Absolutely. You have been in the restaurant business or associated with it for over eight years, is that correct? Correct. And you're familiar with the rules and regulations of this board? I am. And one of your brothers is in fact going to work there, Eric Blatterman, is that My correct? My brother, yes. And he is uh, certified in the, uh, as alcohol training? Yes. All right. And we'd offer a certificate from uh, 
people receive a alcohol awareness training certificate for Eric B. Bladderman as the fifth exhibit. And uh, we have approximately 12 individuals here who are prepared to testify that this license is necessary for the public need and accommodation in the public interest and that Mr. Um, Bladderman is a fit and proper person to have uh, that uh, license. We ask Mr. Uh, White if he'll um, get a sign-in sheet as far as individuals in support who are present here today. Thank you. All right, any other witnesses? No, I believe this gentleman here is right. in, actually in favor of the... Well, we're, based on where he's standing, we can't take that for uh, granted. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mr. DeChico. All right. Let's, let's hear from Mr. DiCicco. Your Michael DiCicco, spell that for the... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Michael DiCicco, D-I, capital C-I-C-C-O. Uh, I came here not in protest of anything. I am for the, the license to go through, but I'm for the license to go through with the MOU. I was in the meeting. Uh, Gary, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know your last name. So he was there at the meeting. He could have, in my opinion, he could have stopped it right then and there. Are you a member of the Little Italy Property Owners yes, Association? Yes, I am. I was one and, of the persons who helped start it. And you were one of the people there in, in that 29 to 1 vote? Yes. All right. Now, you're not specifically here representing the association no, today, I'm right? No, I'm speaking as always as Michael As, an, as a resident? I'm resident. Uh -huh, absolutely. Um, and can you shed any light on the MOU. Do you know if President Stakura knows about Mel, the Mel Stachura is, Stachura? is his Thank name. Uh, he, the vote was 29 to 1. I think it, uh, uh, Gia had told me it was a total of 57 people. I still have not gotten that information from Lapoa, but that's neither here nor there. The other people have stained, so it was overwhelming, overwhelmingly for positive. Right you know, for the license, but with the MOU. Mm -hmm. And the MOU was supposed to be no live entertainment, no outdoor ter uh, table service, and this is the stickling point that was like really crazy. I don't know whether it was in the heat of the talks that were going on or the discussions that were going on for the, fr the proper praise, but uh, uh, the uh, young G agreed to shut down at 11.30, you know, and, you know, thought about it, and that's kind of strange. One person put their hand up and said, hey, you know, they have a legal license to 2 a.m., but you holding me to this. They were the ones who said that time. Nobody tried to force it out of them. It just automatically came out. Once again, it could have been in, in anger. It could have been the heat of the moment. That, you know, that I do not know. But uh, the attorney was there giving them guidance one way or the other. He could have stopped it. It was just a normal community association. Nobody was fighting. Once again, overwhelmingly, the community voted for it, um, saying the people who abstained also voted for it. And as you had mentioned, the, the people who voted for it or who had abstained said, well, this MOU will take care of any problems along the line. I, that I don't know. I can't put right. words in other people's mouth. Uh, you sent as an email at some yes, point. Yes, I did. You know. Do you want to address that, or do you want that to come into evidence or not? Uh, you're, they, they've you're answered here my today. questions, okay. but uh, the reason I am here, once again, I wasn't going to protest, but I have one other thing to yes, say sir. about the evidence that was presented here. I talked to one of the restaurant owners last night. Uh, if you want, I'll give the name. If not, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, Liba is not in existence anymore. They, I don't know. Uh, it was a big organization. The last president uh, has stepped down. It's been forfeited in state records. Nobody, you never hear anybody talking about it. And I went to another meeting, and a restaurant owner was there. And I just mentioned that there, no, Lebo. I know Lou Mazzoli. He is a businessman, and you know. What about Lira? Lira? We don't hear much from them anymore either. Little Italy Restaurant Association. Uh, Miss Blatterman took it over. Okay. Now there is a new. The original Little Italy Restaurant Association, or the uh, the original Lira, things were done. You know, uh, uh, I really rather not say any more than that. Lira Gia is president, and she took it over. She uh, 
uh, she, the trademark, the name, or what, whatever the case. What, no, just what, whatever exactly you know. What I'm just curious. Right. But yeah, we, we don't have to go too far down that road. There's Lira, and then there's the original Lira right now. So it's two restaurant associations. How it came about, I don't know, and I really don't want to get involved. Sorry. All right. There's only, like I say, that is. <coughs> the mail, he did send the letter. We were looking for Jane Schroeder to give us call. If it was signed, it would have went right on through. I do not understand why it wouldn't be signed because they agreed to just about everything in there. They're not going to have the table service. They're not going to have this. And that thing can be amended somewhere in the future. But these are the protests in answering to what this man had said, the testimony there. But the reason I am here, they satisfied the information to me. But there was two applications. What I was hearing in the meeting was altogether different than what I had researched for the community association at the time, so when we had the meeting. Uh, <coughs> it was a test copy, what, what, whatever the terminology would happen to be. But I do know now, I think I have a full understanding that Stephen is, uh, the license is going to be transferred to Stephen, 99%, 1% to uh, Gio Latterman. Uh, V Vaney Pino, uh, uh, Vino is the prop, uh, he owns the business 99% and G owns 1%. And the property itself is under an LLC, 408 South. So I have that information, but the information off on the first application was altogether different. That's why I was asking questions. That's why I am here. Uh, I talked to G, I talked to little G. I talked to the attorney, they put me in. As long as the liquor board is still <coughs> the second application is possible, I don't have any complaints. All right. Thank you very much. Mr. Ditch, sure. I spoke to the attorney, and this is for little Gia and Stephen, that there is a lien on the license. The attorney said he knew. I don't, I don't know what any of this means, but try to help them. Sure. I don't know what something. that would cost, but it's something that they should know and be fully aware of what's going on. Mr. Mazin will take care of that. And the only other thing is, all they, I think all they would have to do is come back to LaPoa, the, the community, and say, hey, you know, if, if, we want to stay open to two, when, if, if necessary. And they're not, you know, they're not going to do it because Little Italy is shutting down 9, 10 o'clock. If they have a nice party, yeah, nobody wants to take their money away from them. The community is for it, but there's a lot of questions with the different paperwork. And that's... That's why I'm here right now. All right. As you said, I am in support, but with the MOU. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. DeChico. Um, there are no plans since <coughs> it's d disclosed that the property's next door to a restaurant with a family member. There are no plans whatsoever to create any opening, any interior opening. That, I just want to hear that for the record. Put in there, that it has to be in accordance with all zoning and after the loan. If they're going to cut holes in walls or do anything like that, they'd have to come to plans. No, they're walls. That's all I want to ask. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I would I would offer this. Here, here's articles of uh, the certificate from the state about the good standing about the one organization. I don't. His re he does wonderful research. I might have to compliment him. Uh, all right. I was aware of the lead to <laughs> Little Italy Business Association. Yeah, they 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 did. Revived. The charter had lost, yeah. there, but they, they did reestablish themselves. So. He took care of it on Tuesday. Oh, well, <laughs> we get a lot of that at these hearings. Okay. Yeah, but we don't want no, to discourage people to pay their taxes. Yes, that I had had with them. <laughs> I, it, was, it was done Tuesday. It was, yeah. it was just, you know, it was done there, which is good. All right. Good. The other businesses have to know about this, though. We're all done <clears> here <throat> for now. No new evidence. Well, I do. I would proffer that I have. All of these individuals. This is the next door property owner. Actually, it's his sister. Uh, she's anxious to have have the uh, operation there. Uh, one of the reasons why she wants it there. Her restaurant's a very popular destination in Little Italy. It's a beautiful location. And what happens is, when people there and they're waiting, they have no place to go. Her brother can open a bar next door. They can walk next door. They can sit there and taste the, the wines of Sicily. Uh, and the, the connections they have with the vineyards in Sicily, and they don't really have an outlet here to promote these Sicilian, Sicilian wines. Um, this lady lives right across the street. Could you stand and identify yourself? Not from there. <laughs> and you live right across the street. No, no, Ms. Madden. She needs to come. 
That's why we're going to do the list, Mr. Maslin. Yeah. Did that ever happen? Yeah, so you have okay. Right, right. So let's. Uh, you can proffer. Thank you for coming oh, down here. Just done by herself. She came all the way down. All right, and it, you say it's Miss Elise Costello. She's here to testify in favor. Thank you for being here, Miss Costello. Who's this morning? All right. Can I make a statement, please? Yes, come over here. Not unless your attorney yes. approves that. So yeah. you really need to whisper to your attorney to ask if you can talk to him yeah, rather just, than just stand just up. Stay We're for the record. My name is Kevin Satimio Smith. I'm vice president of LECO. You wrote to us. Yes, sir. Okay. And you're here. Why didn't support. you get up and read your own letter into the record? Instead of let Mr. <laughs> Maslin. Do if it. given the opportunity, go, I would have. Mr. Go Chairman. right ahead. I, I want to be brief. We're already. I, I just want to reiterate that we're in complete uh, uh, support of the of the license transfer of the or the uh, transaction taking place, and we don't have any objection or of not submitting any type of requirement for an MOU. Uh, that's it. All right. Okay. Can Thank I call you, Mr. Smith? You may. All right. I, I don't want to impede on your Italian credentials there, but uh, thank you for coming down here, Mr. Smith. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Have a good afternoon. All right. Uh, uh, you know, we, we, we've accepted the proffer. We've right. got and the... We have, just for the record, I have approximately eight other residents, homeowners in the area, okay. who are present here today in full support, and I don't believe there's anybody protesting. Yeah, I don't see anybody here in opposition. And with respect to the MOUs in general, how MOUs got started. MOUs were, were, were designed to really. Are you kidding us? We're, we're running out of time. <laughs> I, I, yeah. No, we have no, another no. case, uh, contested right, case, right, after right. this. It's, it's a 2 o'clock. I mean, this family has a history of being good community people. They are not going to operate anything that's detrimental to, to their family business or disrespect the Italian community. They are well-liked and, and good operators. And I submit that the board should approve it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeChico. We're off the record. I want that MOU signed or flushed out. Communication today? Yeah. I do too, but I think I still think we owe it to the LIPOA people to punt it back to them and say, sign this MOU, and then this case is over. Otherwise, we at least bring this case back, and then they'll argue that we wanted more in that MOU. I mean, the MOU was kind of a deal. I mean, that's what it says. It was the deal. So now he, last minute, has taken this information and chopped out some of the relevant parts. I think we hold it under advisement. And that guy, and I don't know. He signs it, it it's a that's not a step for this course. You're also shooting in the city. Right. And then then I mean I just assume for the sake of argument that that they thought you were going to sign this. And then Mr. Maslin's secretary retypes this, but changes, changes a lot. I mean, this is a major change. Going from normal operating hours will be 11.30 to midnight, seven days a week. And then it goes and says, it is anticipated that normal operating hours will be 11.30 to midnight, but the operation is not restricted to those hours. What does that even mean? That, exactly. And, and then he says that, well, so what I don't know is that Mr. Stutcher, he may get this in the mail today and say, why? And I don't want to be in that position where we approve that without a meeting right, of the minds. Okay? So, yeah. This is, this is okay. All right. We'll make this the sixth. Okay. Let's go um, on the record in our decision page, January 24th, 2013. Stephen C. Blatterman, Pane e Vino, Inc., trading as Anche, 408 South High Street. It's a BD7 transfer from 200 West Pratt Street uh, and a, a request to um, change the license. Mr. Blatterman is here today, appears to be a full uh, a fit and proper person, possess a liquor license, city of Baltimore, um, the full-time operator of the business, along with his brother, who's been alcohol management certified. 
board received a petition in support as well as uh, applicant six, which is a list of those who appeared today here at City Hall but did not testify, who would have testified in support. Um, the board also received a letter of support from Kevin Satinio Smith, the uh, vice president of the Little Italy Community Organization, Incorporated, um, as well as a list of attendees at the meeting of January 12th, I'm sorry, of January 2nd, 2013. Um, board's ready to ready to go on this thing. Looks good. Looks like uh, you know public need and desire everything else. But uh, we're still stuck here. We're still stuck back here, and believe we owe a duty to Mr. Statura and the rest of the Little Italy Property Owners Association members um, that Mr. Statura get a chance to um, execute the MOU. Um, all we know, based on the documents that we have is that an MOU, an MOU, the terms of which we don't know yet, the board doesn't know, was allegedly agreed to at the meeting and that there was overwhelming support for the project. <coughs> what we don't know is, was it overwhelming support of the project with an MOU or was it just overwhelming support with the project? So the Little Italy Property Owners Association sent us this a draft MOU dated January 15, 2013, along with those meeting minutes. And that is at agencies one. That's the number of the exhibit that we're reviewing. And that has caused uh, some uh, confusion in this matter. So long story short, um, we're going to hold the case in abeyance. We're going to uh, ask that Mr. St uh, Statura's signature be placed on the document that you have entered into evidence, Mr. Maslin, or a suitable MOU be signed between the two sides within 30 days. If not, then we'll, we'll bring it back and we'll open it back up. Um, so what is now applicants for is a non-fully executed copy of an, M of an MOU, not the original MOU as drafted by LIPOA, and that is signed by Stephen Blatterman and dated uh, January 22nd. So Mr. Statura can sign applicants for, and this case is over. Or you could submit to me a fully executed MOU that's signed, uh, that, that could have different terms and is signed by the parties. But as long as I see Mr. Statura's uh, signature on this MOU, then I will consider the matter concluded. We will consider the matter concluded, certainly with the Little Italy Property Owners Association. If, in fact, Little Italy Property Owners Association has a different take on this, they are welcome. We'll recall the case in a couple of weeks, and they can come in and, and make their case. You are correct. An MOU is not required. However, since we have, since both sides, so to speak, are talking about an MOU, and you've signed one version of an MOU, they have a different version of an MOU. We want to see that process come to a conclusion, if indeed it can. So applicants four will be available to you to be returned. Um, I assume you're, you're giving us a copy, so I assume you have an original with the signature of your client there on. Uh, they've been submitted to um, the um, chairman of the Oh, okay. Association. All right, well, I'll give you, you, as I say, if you have a copy, you can use it. You can take applicants for and return it to the file, um, but we have to hold off on this process just until we get clarification from Mr. Stutchura. All right, thank you very much. We're off the right. record. Thank you.